Hi, welcome to today's episode of Coach's Corner. Today, we'll be learning water polo passing techniques. So the first technique we're going to learn is passing, and this is what a proper pass looks like. Just a disclaimer, water polo is actually a sport you play in the water. So the techniques we'll be showing you is just using your arms. So you would be in the water while you're doing this. But you can, it'll, it's just using your arms, these techniques. So the first technique you're going to learn is passing, and this is what a proper pass looks like. For the proper technique, what you need to do first is have your legs in a wide stance, shoulder width apart, raise your arm up high above your head, put the ball, rest the ball in your palm of your hand, then when you go to pass, throw it and flick your wrist downwards. So one mistake that could be made when throwing the ball is you have your elbows drop and you have no follow through. So it'll end up like, it'll be looking like this, which is horribly wrong because your arms would be inside the water. It'd be so hard to throw the ball, you'd be like this. Now the second part of passing is know where the ball is going. What you want to do is place the ball on the palm of your hand, then lock your eyes to your target, and what you want to do next is raise your arm, make sure your arm is aligned to your eyes and the target, and just throw it with a follow through. Another incorrect way of passing the ball and trying to aim is instead of like having it follow through like this, you end up throwing the ball at an angle and not even holding the ball correctly. You hold it like this and you go like this and you end up throwing it like this. And when you're trying to aim here, it goes that way. All right, for the last part about passing is that you need to learn how to catch the ball. So what you need to do is look at your partner and see where the ball is. And you have your arms up. You, your arms, your eyes can guide your arm to where your partner's gonna throw the ball. And when the ball is in the air and you're going to catch it, make sure your arm goes back and absorbs the power of